welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel so in today's video it's going to be basically a part two to my last video which was Spilling the tea about Olivia Rodrigo, Joshua Bassett, and Sabrina Carpenter. And you guys requested another video, so that is what I'm doing today. So, there's a lot to talk about today. There has been a new tea. We have two new songs to talk about. Honestly, it, I, I feel like this might be a publicity stunt at this point. There's just like so much. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe down below and follow me on all my social medias. They're always linked down below as well. So let's just get into today's video. Okay, like I said, we have two things to talk about in today's video. We have Joshua Bassett's new song called Lie Lie Lie. And then we also have Sabrina Carpenter's new song called Skin. And we're gonna get into that one a little bit later. But let's go over Josh's song first. So in Josh's new song, Lie Lie Lie, it to me is just extremely, extremely similar to the driver's license music video. And here's why. I'm gonna pull out the evidence for you guys. So in both music videos, they're both in cars, which you know is fine, whatever. So in Olivia music video she's in a car at night and she has pink and purple lights reflecting on her face while in Josh's music video his car is lit with purple and pink lights and he's also with a blonde girl which we know the iconic line in driver's license you're probably with that blonde girl there's a blonde girl in his car so like you guys if that doesn't add up to you I don't know what will like it's just weird and they both have a super iconic upside down car scene which is just super similar like I don't know were they directed by the same person. I have no idea. It's just really similar that I feel like it kind of goes together I don't know. It's just my little conspiracy Let me know what you guys think about that and they're also like playing piano. It's just like too many similarities and Josh claims that it's like not about Olivia, but let me know what you guys think and if you guys think it's about Olivia to me It's like it's too much of a coincidence to not be Connected, you know so anyways, that is what I have on Josh's song. Let me know what you guys think. I know he's like declined that it was, he said it was about someone else, like a friend. And I don't know, we'll see. Now the real tea here is Sabrina's new song called Skin. She dropped this song like two days ago and I was shook, like super shook. So in Josh's song, like, I don't know, it's kind of like you don't know if it's about Olivia or not. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but in Sabrina's song, it's for sure about Olivia. She says, so again, with the blonde girl quote, you guys know Olivia's driver's license. She says, you're probably with that blonde girl. And in Sabrina's song, she says, maybe blonde was the only rhyme. Maybe blonde was the only rhyme. Like that is just super direct, honestly. Like it's just no hiding that it's not about Olivia. She also says in the song, like I'm happy and you hate it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then she says, but you've been telling your side, so I'll be telling mine. <laughs> She honestly did not hold back with her side. Let me tell you guys that. In her, on her side, she says, you can try to get under my skin while he's on mine, all over my skin. Did I see that shit right? What the fuck? A lot of people are super upset about Sabrina's song and I will tell you guys a little bit later, but let me just get into the rest of like the evidence of Sabrina's song that is, it's definitely about Olivia. Then Olivia proceeds to say, don't drive yourself insane, it won't always be this way. Don't drive yourself insane, it won't always be this way. That is like, just like the mic drop for me. Like, driver's license, don't drive yourself insane. There's just no way that these songs aren't connected. I honestly think it's a trilogy. We have Olivia's song, driver's license, Josh's song, lie, 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 and then Sabrina's song, skin. It would honestly be like the best publicity stunt to like have all these three songs go out. And obviously, we're look at us, we're invested, and we're gonna hear all three songs, and you know the songs are gonna do good because of that so i wouldn't doubt that that's why but it's no doubt that sabrina's song is definitely about olivia i know people are trying to like you know say it's not i think it is definitely towards haters because she's been getting so much hate but also eh, it's towards olivia as well you guys like let's just not let's not be dumb so many people are upset with sabrina though just because like i guess since the since she's older, they think like it's kind of just like, they think that the song was just too much. In my opinion, I see both sides, honestly. I know, you know, Olivia, it was like her first real heartbreak. 
that's hard, you know? And she wanted to write a song about it and she made a beautiful song about it. And it was also a bop, like a really good song. You know, she threw a little like, you know, little hints at Sabrina. She kind of did throw Sabrina under the bus a little bit. She was getting a lot of hate, death threats, like just over the top things, you guys. So I think Sabrina did does have a right to share her side of the story and defend herself. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Sabrina's song was too much? Do you think that she like had the right to defend herself? At the end of the day, Sabrina's with Josh and that's it. Like she wins, I guess. I don't really know. This could just be like all for their careers and their songs to pop off. Honestly, I'm here for it. It's a smart move if that is what it is. And if it's just being petty back and forth, I'm also here for it. Like, you know, we're here for the tea. We're cheese mozas. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of tweets saying like that Olivia just said like, oh, that blonde girl. And then like Sabrina took it to like the next level. So I, I, I don't know. I don't even know where I stand, honestly. I think Sabrina had a right to tell her side of the story and Olivia had her side of the story. We'll see where it escalates. Honestly, I was really shook when I heard Sabrina's song. I was like, she really did not hold back, honestly. She didn't hold back. She's claiming her man. Um, also, I feel like we have to see from Sabrina's point of view if we were in that situation and like your current boyfriend's ex was like making a song about, well, not about you, but mentioned you in a song and is telling, is saying that they love your boyfriend. Like, you know, it's just kind of sus, but it is Olivia's first heartbreak. So I do understand there's just two sides of the story. Honestly, 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 they should just both leave Josh, period. That's it, that's the mic drop. It's just a little too much drama than it's worth, honestly, for like this guy that looks like, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say, Josh is cute, <laughs> but I saw someone say, that why are these girls fighting over a guy, Josh, that looks like this? Oh, I'm sorry, I had to mention that just because that made me crack up. I think Josh is cute, but it's just a little too much drama than it's worth. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think that, you know, Sabrina did have a right to defend herself or if she kind of stepped over the line. I don't know, I just, it's, I see both sides. I'm not on anyone's team. It's not about being on teams, it shouldn't be about that. They both got to express their feelings, and that's fine. They both did it in different ways, and Josh, I don't know. <laughs> that is all the tea I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I gave you guys the 411. I know you guys loved last video about this, and I really appreciate you guys, so thank you guys so much if you guys subscribed. If you have not yet, make sure you subscribe down below. Follow me on all my social medias, including my TikTok, because I, I basically explained this like in a short version on TikTok yesterday. So if you wanted to be a little early to that, to I respond on TikTok a lot quicker just because it's easier to edit a video on TikTok, you know, instead of like YouTube, it's kind of more like I have to sit down, film, you know, import, edit, upload, stuff like that. So if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, go ahead. It's just Samantha Villegas. You guys get the most recent things, recent updates about the tea. I'm definitely going to be keeping up about it and letting you guys know if anything else happens. I do appreciate you guys saying that like I explained it so well in last video. I really appreciate that. So thank you guys for that. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope I don't have to make part three, but if it happens, I will definitely make a part three about like the updated tea. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next one.